Hey everyone, welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you watched yesterday's video, you probably recognize the same shirt. I'm not wearing it two days in a row. I'm just filming it on the same day. So I put this apron on so I would know how to edit the videos and separate them. So um, today we are going to make a delicious, delicious cake. Well, I hope it's going to be delicious. I've never tried it. But hey, a friend of mine at church sent me this recipe that she saw um, someone make and wanted me to try it. So I'm going to try it. Now, I won't actually type out the recipe in the description below, but what I will do is I, I can't remember the link where it, it came from. I, I, right now, off the top of my head, I can't remember the link. However, what I will do is I will leave a link to this person's channel. And um, when I when I get done, I will leave a link to their channel. That way you can go to where I got it from and give them the credit for this recipe. So that's what I do when I share somebody else's recipe. If I can find a link to it, I share that so you can kind of give them the credit. And um, so I don't remember right off. It's like everything sweet or something like that. I can't remember, but I will definitely figure it out and share it down in the description. But we're gonna get started. I'm gonna grab out my cake, um, my stand mixer, and we're gonna get started. Listen, today is the day of the eclipse, and um, it's not supposed to start till one, it's supposed to peak around three something, like it's supposed to start around one fifty something here, not peaks, Till about 3 15 so it may get dark outside while i'm filming this um because this is gonna you have to bake the cake then you let it cool and you make a glaze for it so um this will be over time it'll only be a few minutes for you guys but for me it'll be over time so it may it's real sunny outside right now but it may look dark before i'm finished so let me grab everything we need i'll meet you back right here in just a second so let's get started on this cake. What do you say? It is called a praline pecan buttermilk pound cake. Oh my goodness. Does that not sound delicious? So let's go over what you're going to need. Um, let me grab some things over here behind me. You're going to need, if you want to write this down in case you don't want to go to the link, go ahead and write it down as we go. Uh, but remember, I will share the link where this came from. You're going to need three sticks of butter. Now, I use salted butter, so therefore, I don't add salt to the recipe. So if you're using unsalted, then you're going to want to add about a half a teaspoon of salt or a nice little finger pinch of salt. Um, I am going to use three sticks of salted butter, six eggs, a cup of brown sugar, two cups of white sugar. You're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to need um, a full teaspoon of bacon powder, a half a teaspoon of bacon soda. You're going to need about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla, a cup of pecans. Did I say a cup of buttermilk? A cup of buttermilk. And the recipe actually calls for butter extract, which I do not have. So we're actually going to skip that. I don't have that. And uh, I think I mentioned the cup of pecans. So let's get started. And then it has a wonderful caramelly type glaze to go on top. So let's get started, why don't we? So we're moving over here to the stand mixer. And I'm going to go on in with my three sticks of butter. They are supposed to be room temperature. I laid them out a little late, so I sat them over there near my dishwasher <laughs> because my countertop gets warm where my dishwasher is, and um, they may not be as fully room temperature as I would like, but close enough. With a good stand mixer, we're going to be just fine. And before I add my sugar, I'm going to give this a nice little whip up and um, so forth.
All right, so to our butter, I'm going to add in our cup of brown sugar and two cups of white. I hope my mixer is big enough. And we're going to beat this till it's nice and fluffy and incorporated. So to our butter mixture, I'm going to add one egg at a time. Let me grab a dish here that just makes it easy to be sure you don't have shells and it makes it easy to pour in the... And I'm going to beat well between each egg addition. So now that the eggs have been incorporated, let's move over here and work on the flour. Okay, so here are our three cups of flour. And to that is going in my teaspoon of bacon powder. and a half a teaspoon of bacon soda. All right, and I'm just gonna take a whisk and give that a nice little fluff up and mix, head start mix. Okay, before I start adding the flour, I want to take a spatula and scrape down the sides. I'm gonna do that off camera, I'll bring you right back. All right, everybody, what I'm gonna do is alternate with the flour so I'm going to turn that off to start with. I'm going to put about a third of the flour in. And I don't want to beat it too much with the flour in, but we, we want to incorporate it. So now I'm going to go with about a third of the buttermilk. And I always like to turn it off when I add the flour just to avoid a big poof of flour. Let me go in over here. Sorry, guys. I know that's not pretty. All right, and we're going in with another third of our buttermilk. And the rest of our flour mixture. My hands are impeccably impeccably clean. <laughs> of course, my mixer's not now. All right, I'm going to add the rest of our buttermilk, and then we're going to scrape down the sides. All right, let's give the sides a scrape.
and I actually may pull the bowl off the mixer just so I can get my hand in there. That's why I'm scraping it down. I don't want any drippage. And I'll take it off and I'm going to give everything a scrape down. I don't care what kind of mixer you have or how good your paddle is. If it's got, mine has the silicone side, but you always need to give your sides a scrape. Always. Because many a times I have found my butter down there in the bottom. All right. Put it back on real briefly. We're going to take this, scrape my spatula off. All right. Okay. Real quickly, we're going to add in our vanilla. And if you, okay, you see that little brown speck? That's a piece of brown sugar I saw. I'm just going to reach in and grab that. My brown sugar had a big chunk of molasses. <laughs> see it right there? It won't hurt anything because we're going to add pecan, so it'll just be a little piece of texture, but I took it out. All right, let's add in our vanilla real quick. Real, real quick. All right, very good. All right, let's scrape off any batter off of our paddle here. Sometimes I, I bang it on the side, but I, there's some bits of flour at the top. So I'm not going to bang it on the side this time. Or tap it, not bang it, but you know, like that. All right, so let's come over here. All right, so we're going to fold in a cup of chopped pecans. Those are straight out of my freezer. Now these may settle down to the bottom and that is totally fine because it's really pretty when you pull your cake out and you have like a topping of nuts on the top. So um, if it stays in the middle, that's wonderful. If it sinks down to the bottom, which will inevitably be the top because you're going to flip it up. Either way, it works fine. All right. So let's set this aside and get our pan back. Now, if you have seen my bunt pan, which I love, but it has lots of sharp crevices and it's because it's real ornate. Um, let me grab it. You see, it has all these, all these extra crevices and stuff. Um, I'm not going to use it. So I called Caroline and I said, Caroline, hey, you remember that bunt pan I gave you? Let me borrow it for this cake. <laughs> and I want you to look how pitiful this thing looks. It is so pitiful. So I have no clue how this one's going to turn out, if it's going to turn out, but we're going to try. So I'm going to grab my Joy Spray. I'm going to go over here, spray my, listen, I had, one of you gave me the best idea. And the only reason I can't do it today is because I have clean dishes in my dishwasher. I hadn't put them up yet, but great thing to do. If your dishwasher is either empty or has dirty dishes in it, open your dishwasher door and spray your cake pan there. You don't have to worry about it getting in your sink. You don't have to wash out your sink. Um, you're, you're going to put dirty dishes in there and it's going to clean it anyway. So what a great idea. And I've done that so many times since one of you sent me that um, tip. But uh, I have clean dishes in there now, so i got to do it at the sink. All right. My pan is sprayed. So like I said, I have no clue how this will turn out of this pan, but we'll see. So I am just going to slowly start pouring this batter 
in and I just take a second and rotate it. Scoop another big dollop, rotate it again. This is how I do it when I'm by myself. If Bryant's here, he'll help me spin the pan or he'll hold the cake pan or We're such a team. Um, sometimes I get comments like, why is he on your channel so much? Well, first of all, it's our channel. He and I do. We are a team in everything we do. The Lord blessed me with, in my opinion, of course I'm biased, but with the greatest husband on the face of the earth. And <laughs> we are... We are absolutely a team. We're a team in ministry. We're a team on our farm. Although, <laughs> I have not done as much on the farm as I used to. Thankfully to Daniel. He has been such a godsend. Daniel is our employee. If you're new here, he works on our farm. But I, I, I hate even calling him an employee because he's he's like family. All right. So here goes the cake into a 325 degree oven. We're going to check it at about an hour and 10 minutes, but I have a feeling it's going to go an hour and 20 to an hour and 30. So, all right, going in, we'll see you when it comes out. Okay, everyone, the cake is out. It looks absolutely amazing and delicious. Cannot wait to dig in. So we're going to get started on the glaze that's going to go on it. I'm going to get the tripod set up, and then I'm going to talk to you a minute because I'm going to change up one of my normal rules a little bit. So one of my normal rules about um, baking is if I use salted butter, I don't normally add salt to the recipe, but we're going to change that up a little bit. And let me tell you why. I've got six tablespoons of butter here in a pot. Um, so it is salted, but I'm kind of making a caramel glaze to go on this cake. And there's nothing better than salted caramel. So I'm going to add the pinch of salt that the recipe calls for just because I think that salted caramel taste will be super delicious on, on this cake. So let me get you guys turned down here. I've got six, about six tablespoons of butter. And I just got through frying some stuff for supper. So you may see a little bit of grease splatter there. I'm going to clean my kitchen when I'm done cooking. All right, so to our butter, I'm going to add one cup of packed brown sugar. And we're going to get that melted together really well. And then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to grab a whisk. I'll meet you back right here. So to the butter and sugar mixture, I'm going to add about a half of a cup of heavy cream. And we're going to get this all combined well. Now I will say the recipe I was looking at is just a little bit confusing because there's, there's two different recipes that you can see here. One of them actually says four teaspoons of butter. And then I went back and watched his uh, video and it looked more like four to six tablespoons of butter. So I'm going with what I think, which was my four to six tablespoons of butter. And so we're just going to, it's going to be delicious no matter what. So I think we're good to go with that. And, um, so, but I will say, just be cautious when you look at the recipe. Be sure you watch his video. Um, it does look a little, I think it may be a typo. Um, so I'm going to add the little pinch of salt. We're bringing it to a boil. And then I'm going to turn it down and just cook it till the thickness I want it to be. And I may have to stick it in the refrigerator for a little bit just to get it to... Um, thicken up enough. I don't want it to run off 
I, I want it to run down the cake, but not necessarily off and pull at the bottom. Um, so I definitely want it, um, you know, nice and thick. So I'm just going to keep stirring this until it gets to about the thickness I would like for it to be. And I'll bring you back and show you that in just a minute. All right, so in regards to the glaze, I did add some more heavy cream. So we're up to about a cup of heavy cream and a cup of brown sugar and a pinch of salt and about five tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla now just a splash and I'm just going to cook this away until I think it's ready. So just be sure when you go to the link I share, um, to be, be sure to read everything because it does say there is some typos. Um, uh, so be sure to read everything or I will just list what I did in the glaze down in the description. Uh, but the rest of the cake recipe, I'll share the link. But I will share what I ended up doing with the glaze. So I'm just going to cook this until it is thick. I may stick it in the refrigerator to let it, um, you know, come together a little bit before we put it on the cake. But I'll bring you back in just a little bit. All right, everyone, it is getting thick. And what I think I'm going to do is stop right here because I don't want it to turn like an, into a hard candy or anything. So I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator, let it come together a little bit more before I spoon it over the cake. But this is going to be absolutely delicious. And guess who's already here for the taste test? So we've got to hurry up and get this to set up a little bit. And I'll see you back in just a minute. Let's glaze this cake. Now, I didn't let this get as thick as I wanted to. But I know Bryant's actually in here, and I have no clue how long that will last. Um, so you can either spoon it. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I don't think I could have got the consistency any better if I'd have tried. Oh, <laughs> yes. So I'm just going to put this glaze on this cake. In fact, I may just take the pot and pour it. But yeah, this is the most perfect consistency. Oh, yum. All right, guys, I'm going to finish glazing. Bryant is outside talking to somebody and he will be in in just a minute and we will cut him a piece of this cake. See what he thinks. Now yesterday he absolutely loved the flautas. Let's see if he absolutely loves this cake. I'm eager to cut into it to see what it looks like on the inside. To see how the pecans distributed themselves, if they're going to be, you know, well distributed or if they're going to be towards the bottom. It doesn't matter to me because, like I said, either way, there's pros and cons to either way. So I'm going to save a little bit of this glaze in the pot here to um, kind of pour over the piece that I cut him. All right. So yeah, I'm going to stop here save him a piece and uh, I mean save some to put on the piece I cut him all right guys I'll bring you back when he comes in I'm gonna get a picture this is picture worthy right here so let me um, get this set up take a picture and he should be in in just a minute all right so Bryant's in here he is dying for a piece of this cake so let's get it turned down here He's already pouring his milk. We, I have some extra sauce. Do you want me to pour some extra sauce on top of your piece of cake? Hey, look what I'm using for a glass. A jelly jar. Oh. Milk does the body good. I can tell you now that caramel glaze is delicious. I've already ran my finger around the brim of the... Oh, look at that. Look How at that. How moist that is. 
All right. Just look at it. Here's our sauce. Right. And I'm looking, this piece doesn't show it well, but the other the other part of the cake, it looks like the pecans are pretty evenly distributed okay. so far. Let me get you a fork. You need a spoon? Yeah. You need a spoon for the glaze? Oh, you got a spoon. Let's do, this right here. Let's do it like this right here, like they taught me in chef school. We need a picture of your slice of cake. Yeah, we do. Hey, guys. Hang tight. We'll be right back. All right, here we, here, we go. Go. Right, here we go. Here's the taste test. Here we go. I can tell you, it's beautiful. I don't know how it's going to taste, but it's pretty. You can, he gets the he gets the um, edge. That's your favorite part, the crumbly mm -hmm. part. <laughs> oh, mama, that is good. I might need coffee instead of milk. <laughs> mm. That's delicious. That's delicious. That is delicious. Well, that's two for two. Give me a smaller bite. Smaller bite. She's knocking it out of the park today. Mm, hey, right that there. is good. That, that needs to make it to your table. Ma'am, that it, is good. It's a pretty cake. I mean, look. Look at how elegant it looks. I mean. That is beautiful. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful cake. Um, You will get bonus points if you make that. Or your next mm -hmm. ladies brunch or or whatever you go to that that is a it's a pretty cake very elegant that is very good and the flavor it's right on isn't it mm. that brown sugar does something don't it brown sugar i love the nuts the texture of the nuts the uh, glaze on there is not too super sweet it's just perfect but it it just um, um adds to the flavor mm -hmm. it's just really good so very good so let me tell you before we sign out there was the, there's a little bit i shared the link where you can get this recipe but there's a little bit of confusion because there's like three different things that said about the the glaze um so i put down in the description how i made the glaze um so it, it you know be sure that you read everything carefully and and then check my recipe out for the glaze which which was his or finished glaze which i think is the correct glaze um so i just think there was a few typos throughout the recipe so yum yum get you some <laughs> silly <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for joining us i appreciate you so very much remember the grease is hot enough you can fry anything i'm still waiting on the eclipse to happen don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I would greatly appreciate it. Leave us a comment and I'll see you on the next video. All right. Thank you so much. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. All right, so I said I would change one of <laughs> Brian's behind the camera making faces at me. All right, so I said I would break one. <laughs> break one.